Reliance Commercial Finance presents India SME Forum 2012. Find out the secrets of success in a series of seminars exclusively for smart entrepreneurs. Join India's biggest SME initiative to boost your business and celebrate SME achievers with India SME 100 Award. Uh, about the SME, uh, as well as that, you know, you, one needs to understand that you, loans are important, one needs to take a loan to start off for uh, your work. But this is how what happens, you know, we're talking about something when you've gone beyond the point where you have to take a loan, then what happens when you need to actually take some very serious uh, money. So, the debt market and the equity market, they tend to go hand in hand. They, they, it feeds each other in a matter of speaking. What we have at BSE is that uh, we have seen uh, for quite some time that uh, there is a requirement that BSM is facing certain problems with regard to funding. So we came up with the idea, of, the idea was in fact uh, been there with the government for quite some time. So just broadly categorize it, what does the SM stand for? You have, uh, okay, this is how the, it has been broadly laid down. That there is a certain many part for you know capping on the manufacturing part, uh, the service sector, and everything else. So and uh, it is something that contributes quite a bit. We have, uh, as been already been mentioned, the add to the GDP and the the, the export part, uh, the contribution to the export market is immense. But this is one sector which is slightly uh, disorganized. Let's let's be very fair with each other. Right? You know, we tend to have uh, uh, SMEs uh, coming for loan and then you realize there are certain problems when we want to get them a loan as well. Because the books of accounts tend to have, give a slightly different story from what has been happening in the uh, company itself. So uh, this, is, this is one sector that needs to be organized and there's just uh, our way of uh, helping the, the sector to get organized. Because this is something that provides the biggest uh, uh, employment generator of the country. And if you look at it, the amount of people who are working in these small units, it's uh, it's immense. Uh, this is, uh, we, we cannot do all of this without the government's help, but as the government has been pretty serious about it from the very beginning itself. Let's say from the point of uh, when we were independent and government realized that everybody does not have land, there are people who are actually working, they're getting, they're making their living uh, by doing some other work. So uh, there, were, there were provisions were made, there were certain, they, they were promoting, the government was promoting the small scale industry. And uh, this is something that was uh, taken care by the, uh, by the government, you know, you know they've taken a very serious measure for that. Uh, there was an SM, uh, uh, MSME Act as well that was passed where it, you know, there were improvements were made by the rules and regulations that were made were simplified for the SME. There were certain things, uh, certain materials that were to be taken uh, by the SME, uh, you know, the procurement that had to be done for the SME and the products that were sold, they were given a certain capping that uh, the part of the, uh, the, the government has to take uh, the uh, products from the SME itself. And the seriousness of uh, the government was when they uh, constituted an MSME board. So this is something that has been happening and when finally the uh, Prime Minister decided that okay, yes, we need to set up a task for where, where you know, the SME needs to actually have a proper representation. And thus came about the idea of putting them onto the exchange itself. Uh, what is the need for the SME exchange? Well, when you talk about uh, debt, yes, debt is something that you need to uh, be very integral part of the business itself. But at a certain point, what happens is you are, uh, you've taken that debt to an extent where you're actually working to pay off your debt. So the amount of loan that you have taken on and the, um, the, the, the profits that you're making is, uh, goes uh, majorly into paying off the debt. But then again, if you reach to that point where you have actually taken debt, it's again uh, something that needs, uh, you need uh, somebody to help you do the funding form. So uh, this is something where we are looking at. You have got to a point, the business has got to a point where the, you have taken a loan, you have been able to pay back that loan, you have got yourself in a certain position where uh, uh, you, know, you are able to have a sustaining uh, business is uh, self-sustained and uh, now you are looking for a growth which is beyond uh, what you the funding can do. So 
Uh, then at that point comes in where you can actually look for uh, the equity part of it. What else we have to offer over here is, uh, in principle, the exchange already exists, the DSA exchange already exists, so there is no point reinventing the wheel. So what we have done is we just added on to the exchange itself. Uh, what we have done is we have uh, all the uh, merchant bankers which are there for the DSE and SME exchange main board are going to be associated with, with the SME itself. So your new approach is that you uh, you want to actually come up with an IPO, uh, we, you know, uh, let you have a word with the merchant bankers and then the merchant banker you can have an understanding with them look at how serious you are with your uh, with the, uh, the work that you're doing and uh, how uh, well it is can be marketed. So if you have a marketable product and your vision and the seriousness uh, of your business exists, then the merchant banker will not have that much of a problem in associating with you and helping you to, to take over the uh, IQS uh, at the, uh, at the SME, anything, anybody who wants to raise money uh, to uh, the tune of say 25 crore rupees, yes, you can approach the SME, uh, BSE, BSE SME, and anybody who wants to raise capital more than uh, you know, 25 crores has to actually go on to the main board itself. And we are, we are the, the customer that we are looking for are the ones who are not going to be too much into selling and buying uh, the SME shares uh, you know, on a very regular basis. What we want them to do is to, you know, the the, the old-fashioned way of holding on to your shares and growing when the company grows with you. So we have kept a, a lot size uh, of let's say 100, uh, sorry, one lakh rupees. So this is the investment that needs to be made. So anybody who wants to invest as an investor, other than the one who are actually coming up SMEs. Uh, anybody who wants to invest in the SME has to invest a lakh of rupees. So if you if you want to buy the shares, you have to buy shares worth one lakh rupees. The month of the IPO that is going to be out have will be hundred uh, uh, percent under uh, underwritten, and the uh, banker himself is going to be taking fifteen percent of the uh, shares as such, so that uh, we're going to help you out. The merchant banker is going to be associated with the SME for the next three years. That we do understand the SME is not fully aware of how to deal with the uh, capital market. So the merchant banker is going to be associated with you, is going to be there telling you what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, how it needs to be done, till the time you, you are well aware of well, what needs to, uh, how the markets work. Um, there are also a certain uh, market makers which are there. Market makers are going to help you know to give for for the uh, for the shares in case somebody does want to get rid of the shares or if there is a requirement by the investor that he wants to send his money back. Then the merchant that they are market makers who are going to uh, help them or assist them uh, in actually uh, going away with the shares as such. Uh, about the BSME SME, uh, what we have done is we have not, as I mentioned to you, we have not reinvented the wheel altogether. There is an existing uh, board, that's the board uh, the system that is there. What we have done is the SME is going to have a separate uh, grouping into that. Okay, we have A group and B group companies uh, on BSE and uh, SME is going to have a separate grouping that is an M and the MD group. So once you have your company listed, it's going to be represented onto the main board just like any other company which is there uh, on BSE, but the only thing that is going to be different is the uh, the grouping that you would be in. That is an M group altogether. So the ex this kind of exposure uh, that the SMEs are going to get once they are listed is immense, uh, because you know the uh, you're going to be on the main board itself. Uh, so as in when you put it in alphabetic order, your names are going to uh, represent uh, just like any other company which is listed and some of the very big names on the industry are going to be there by your side as well. There's also a provision where it, you can always move on from the SMA board to the main board itself. So you can use this as uh, something that you, you know, if uh, a client is uh, that is of success and then you have the first portfolio listed to the SME and then from there you can always go on to the uh, main board as a new group. Uh, the process of uh, uh, trading is just the same. It's just that E plus you know, two day settlement system, uh, and uh, we're operating on the main board, uh, the main board system, and uh, the timings are again going to be from nine o'clock till eight thirty. So uh, it's nothing is uh, something that is uh, separately done for the SME. 
you are going to be a part of the uh, of the main uh, uh, BSE uh, that the uh, board system is there, and uh, it's not that you are a, a smaller entity and you're going to be treated differently. Yes, we're going to give you certain uh, leverages that has been given there in terms of uh, you need not be a profit-making institute for the last. Uh, three odd years, and then the documentation that is being provided that is being simplified. When uh, when we go on to the IPO, uh, the due diligence has to be done with the banker. They are going to be looking into your books of account, and this is something that the SME needs to take very seriously. When we do need to rate the companies, the books of accounts need to be very clear. Unfortunately, the, the, the background of, at the moment uh, is uh, slightly very where the books of account tend to uh, be, say, say a different story than what is happening uh, in real life. So you need to take care of that. But at the same time, once that is done, the merchant banker looks into it. Is a BSC uh, takes care of the entire thing altogether. The red chain perspective that is being there, that BSC, uh, is the one who takes care of the show altogether. We inform Sebi that uh, there is a company who wants to get listed on the SM exchange, but uh, that's all there is to it. So it's a pure understanding between the SME and the merchant backer that we can actually have the benefit. And as uh, the Senator I.T. said, that it's the seriousness of the SME that is really going to be important. Even when you're giving a loan, you need to know like what exactly what is the vision of the company, what is the long-term vision of the company, what is the short-term vision of the company, where they're, uh, how they're directing the business, who are the ones who are going to be taking care of the things uh, from here on, and uh, the same thing uh, is going to be taken, uh, going to be asked by the merchant banker. Okay, fine, you have come to a certain position. What else from here on? But at the same time, once this has all been done, you can list yourself. And we have already got two companies which are listed, and there are certain a number of uh, other companies which are also coming uh, onto the board at the moment. Uh, the the investors that we are looking at is, uh, you know, the ones who are like uh, venture capitalists is something that we are looking at. Venture capitalists tend to do put money into small businesses and wait for them to grow. And this is going to give uh, all the uh, SMEs a uh, you know, wonderful ground where they can actually represent themselves. There is a clarity that is going to be there. You're going to be on the BSME uh, on the on the website itself. Anybody who wants uh, any. Uh, you want to know about the company, they can always uh, log on to the company and get all the details from there on. We have exchange, uh, we, how we pro uh, project the SMEs, we go on road shows, uh, we talk to uh, business houses and then we also give uh, regular reports which are be coming in for the SMEs as well. Uh, this is our website, uh, in case we, you, anybody wants uh, to know. The website is there, it's a very interactive website. I can actually show you the website uh, right now. This is the website. Uh, on the website itself, you can get a lot of information with regard to the SMEs. Uh, even if you, if this is the entire process, what it is all about. If you go on to the listing uh, section of it, it gives you the details, what all you require, the documentation and uh, the other details. And these are the companies which have actually got themselves listed. The last two companies have got themselves already listed, and we have already got the uh, listing papers for the third one, the one on top. But looking at all this, uh, it comes down to something very simple. Everybody is there to help you. The people who want to give you a debt, they are there to help you. The ones who want to get you on to, you want to get yourself listed, we are here to help you. It's just the focus of the uh, SMA which is required at this point of time as to uh, how serious you are with your business and where you want to take it from here on. This is going to be something that is very important. And uh, personally speaking, this is the best opportunity one can have today. Any SME who wants to grow, they have got the, uh, the people who want to lend money to them. They have got. They, they are the one who are happy to lend you money. If you have got yourself into a frame where you're serious of doing your business properly, there's uh, uh, there's loads and loads of help that you can get from the rest of the community as such. Thank you very.